episode for December the 18th, 2023. Had a good day. We got out early and we did a bunch of, I guess, kind of Christmassy kind of stuff. Basically just buying little things for Christmas crackers. We don't and haven't for a while given each other gifts on Christmas. None of us can afford it. And we all have birthdays around December and January. So it's like we save our our little nickels and dimes for that for mo for the most part so yeah that was nice Jean and i went out and did that variety of different little shopping things and finished off the finished off our special christmas day getting some amw and sit sta sitting down by the water in the car and just chatting and having uh, a really nice time that way so that was really that was really nice and I spent a good hunk of today sitting on the couch just reading, reading uh, some of the adventures of of uh, Arthur, Arthur Arkwright, or Luther Arkwright, Luther Arkwright, I think it is, Brian Tal uh, Talbot, uh, which is this pretty freaky 70s, 80s uh, comic, very reminiscent, reminiscent of, um, reminiscent of, uh, God damn it, Alan Moore. Uh, in its kind of layering and, and time jumping and just kind of density. Uh, there's some very, the, I, I found there's this, the coma section of the thing. I think maybe it was on the self-indulgent side of, of, of a dense with a ton of kind of um, te teo, tarot, tarot stuff and um, Buddhism and you know you know stuff that you think it's like okay this is yes you've you've read up a lot of books buddy and you're you're using this as kind of exoticism in your in your story but still that said it's quite it's quite intriguing quite uh, immersive stuff and i love i love the artwork in it definitely a work that <laughs> benefits from me reading it on the on the tablet so i can zoom in to read all the many um, tightly, tightly packed together text blocks, um, which were, you know, as I said, are, I think, slightly on the overindulgent side, but still just gorgeous, beautiful work. Yeah, yeah. Um, not, not of today's kind of, kind of slickness. It's really, um, all in black and white, all kind of fairly kind of rough hewn and, uh, black etched, which I really do love. He's got a he's got a really distinctive style of his own, which uh, yeah yeah. So that that was good. Other than that, um, we watched uh, Violent Night, which is yet another mediocre uh, Christmas movie. Just not very up to snuff uh, Christmas writing, and it's like oh these people have watched Die Hard. Oh they're doing a poor poor um ripoff of die hard to the point where it's like oh this is the plot beat and then it's like yep that was the plot beat okay fine and that was actually from die hard 2 that they sold that part of it from so yeah yeah um you know david harbour doing his best but eh. and john leg Leg Mazzano definitely picking up a paycheck but you know, not somebody who apparently can uh, elevate poor writing. Um, and it's poor writing. So, yeah, meh. we have yet to kind of discover a uh, Christmas classic for ourselves in the violent horror genre. Um, you know, there are some echoes of Bad Santa in here, which this movie, all, that movie, Violent Night, still can't touch, even if there isn't as much violence. Did have some good Home Alone ripoffs in it, actually. It's funny. Effective thing is using house, common household items to uh, show mayhem. That part of it actually was the part you went, ooh, I feel those. I felt those, whereas I didn't feel um, um, basically anything else in the movie. The rest of the movie is just a cartoon. All right. I will leave it there. More videos later.